All right, Shalom. Well, first and foremost, I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakadash, Double Honors, El Deposit, Ray Mills, Tony, Tony, Mr. Truth, and Rule Will. Peace, blessings, salutations to Icon out there, scared the about to the far corner of the earth. That's certain the truth, not true sincerity. So I say Shalom. Well, this is about the Bible coming to another video in the spirit. And uh, this is going to be a quick video talking about um, understanding the Lord's will, okay? Because you know, we see things that's going on. You know, we see how the Lord is visiting this place like he said he would do in the scriptures. You know, we see um, the we're in the beginning stages of, of JT. You know, we see what's happening over there um, overseas, you know, between Israel and, uh, and uh, Ishmael. You know, we, we, we can see how civil war is 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 ramping up we see the prophecies speaking that's what we can see you know and you know we understand that we are close to the end but we still have to remember you know that everything is it's a process to everything you know there's things that have to happen for certain things to continue to take effect you know and that's just how the lord has had that's just how the lord has it set up okay because this is his will that's being done okay it's not ours so we have to always remember that it's the Lord's will. That's why when we uh, interact with brothers, you know, we say, see you tomorrow, Lord willing, or anything we we saying that we we want to do or plan to do, we say Lord will, because it's up to the Lord to allow it to happen. So we have to understand now more than ever about understanding what the Lord's will is, okay? So I'm just going to grab a quick scriptures about, about it. This is uh, Matthew 26, and we'll start at 38. It says, then said he unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. It says, and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Yeah. So, yeah, I was shy. You know, when he was getting ready to go through um, what he had to go through. You know, he his he wasn't his spirit his spirit was willing but his flesh was weak. His his the flesh was getting him, the flesh start was starting to you know to mess with him. So, you know, he went and, you know, and prayed to, you know, to Yahweh, you know, if if, if this cup would be passed from him. Okay, it wasn't because it wasn't Yahweh Shah knew what he had to do, but still, you know, when it was time to do it, you know, the flesh is messing with him. So, you know, it wasn't his will to go through that if he didn't have to. Let me continue to read. It says, and he come up unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and said unto Peter, what could you not watch for me one hour? Watch and pray that you enter not to temptation, that the spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah. Okay. That's why we have to make sure that we're doing it ourselves, praying that we don't fall into temptations, you know, pray you know, that the Lord keep us in the right mind, you know, and, and you know, forgive us, you know, for going off and, and keep us from going off and just stay and keep the hedge over us. OK, because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. OK, you you may. Like you're doing a video, you know, you may be in the spirit, you want to do a video, but then your flesh like, man, I'm tired or let me eat first or or I do it later. You know, brothers got the saying, strike right, the iron is hot. So if it's on your spirit to do a video, do the video. You know? Like fasting. You say, I'm a fast. And then you get in time and you fast. You be like, oh, I, I ain't going to fast today. I'll probably fast another day. Okay? Because we in this flesh. You know, we fight against the lust of the flesh. But we got to we gotta try to put this. We got to put the spirit first. Not try. We have to put the spirit first. Uh, I'm going to tell you to read. It says, he went again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Yeah. So he understood that it was the Lord's will for him to go through this. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't, he, Yahweh Shai knew what he had to do. No, don't get it twisted. He knew what he had to do. But when it came down to it, you know, it was it it wasn't his will 
But he understood it was he understood that it was the will of the Father. Okay. The Yahweh wanted him to do that. For what? Because it was it was so much that came from that. And and he also had to pay for his sins as well. But from him doing that, what? He received to sit on the right hand of the Father. He's been given all power, glory, and dominion has been given to him. Okay. And he also was able to reconcile uh, us back to the Heavenly Father. So it was a heavy cup, but he did it because that's the will of the Father. So we always have to make sure that we're putting the will of the Father before anything when we're in, while we're in his ministry. Okay. Let me grab this because it's, it's it, hey man, it's ramping up. Okay, uh, this is Ephesians 5, and I'm gonna get 16. It says, Redeeming the times because the days are evil, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yeah, we gotta understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay, you know, I'm talking about this flesh, man, you know. As we continue to go through, you know, this walk, you know, it, it's going to start hitting closer to home, you know. So, but you have to understand that the, the Lord is, is having these things happen. These things are happening for a reason. OK, so we can't get in the, get in the mindset of, of why, you know, or trying to understand some things we're not we're not going to completely understand, like the scriptures say. Our, his thoughts are not our thoughts, neither are our ways his ways. The Heavenly Father is on a whole never whole nother playing field. He doesn't he don't think the way we think. This is his play, this is his movie. Okay, we just have to get in line. And and that's and that's the type of mindset that you have to have when you come to serve the Lord, when you're serving your how about you shot. Okay, this is his movie, you know. We're just a character, we have a role in it. Let me grab this because, you know, we, we get, we have our moments, you know, when we want to, you know, you know, you know, JK Mosley, you, you probably get, you know, you get hot, you get hot and you get angry, you know, you, you want to, you know, you be you surrounded by heathens, you know, you, you know, they be trying you. You know, saying you put the spirit on them people to try you, to try to get you out of your element. But what? We got to wait. Because what the scripture say, Zephaniah 3 and 8, says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the, assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire, or shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, so we have to wait on the Lord. Okay? Yeah, we, we, we mad, but how mad, how much more mad is Yahweh Shai? Okay? Yeah, we want to get down on these devils. We want to put our hands on them, you know, but we can't because the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. Okay? We have to wait on Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai got first. You know, they, 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 I mean, look what they did to him. So he got first. And ultimately, Yahweh Shem is the ultimate judge. Okay. He's the creator of everything that's here on the earth. So he's, he is, he has the best way to execute judgment upon somebody. That's why if you're being troubled, man, you can, you can pick curses up on somebody. Now, that don't mean you just go around and just throw up curses on people because curses are very serious. Okay, once you throw that curse out there, is it? Ain't no bringing it back, you know. You don't want to throw a curse upon nobody, and then, you know, you you end up getting to you know you know feel sorry or getting to be cool with them or whatever it is. It's it that ain't gonna change nothing. You can't take that curse back. So when you out here throwing up curses, make sure that you that is you're serious. You know that you really want to throw no curses. I don't. I th yeah, we throw curses up on this place. Yeah, you throw curses up on this place because we want this place to be destroyed. Yeah. I'm talking about when it comes to people. You know? But yeah, we throw curses up on our on, on America. You know? We want this place to be taken up. 
But when it comes to throwing curses up on people, you got to be careful about that. You know? But ultimately, it's the Lord's will, you know, to pour out his indignation upon these other nations. So we have to wait for that to happen. We can't try to speed up the process. You know? We can't get impatient. We got to, we, that's some, one of the main components that you learn being in this ministry is patience. Because patience will help you. You know? Patience keep you from, from making hasty decisions, from getting out of character. From, it helps you to be able to rule your spirit. You know? It helps you maneuver better. You know, in life and in this ministry. So let me grab this. This is uh, Micah 7 and 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to, to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Yeah. Okay. And then verse 10, it says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is thy Lord thy power? My eyes should behold her. Now she should be trundled down as my other trees. Yeah. These women too, man. The Lord is going to get these women back. The Lord got us. The Lord got his men. Okay, these people are not getting off. They're not getting off. These women that have did us, did us wrong. These people are your bosses. You know, whoever it is that has done you wrong. The Lord is going to get him. Don't take it into your own hands. The Lord is going to do it. That's all we have to continue to remember. You know, as long as we continue to do what we, we're doing, the Lord is going to do what he said he's going to do. And his will is to pay back anyone who anyone who has done his men wrong. That's that's part of his will. He said he's going to do it. Who's ever troubled us, he's going to trouble them. So just wait. Just wait on it, you know, and then, you know, getting closer to home. If some people, hey, man, the glory I said it was some of your, some people you close with end up, you know, taking the, taking the, the, the CHIP, you know, conforming, you know, to E. Hey, man, that's a, that's a lot that the Lord has them in, you know, you know, my, we can, we can say, you know, we can try to give them this truth as many times as we want. If the Lord has them blocked to not receive it, then that's the, that's that's the Lord. We can't do nothing against that. Okay. At the end of the day, the Lord's will is going to be done. Um, let me read his last scripture. This is uh, Surah 35 and 17. It says, A prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall be whole to judge righteously and execute judgment. Yeah. Okay. So it says, A prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Okay. Our prayers are, are, are being heard. Okay. That's why we continue to pray. You know? We got we got brothers, you know, in in the heavens, um, on our behalf, pleading our case too in front in front of the heavenly Father for us. Like the story of um Abel, when when the Lord came and questioned Cain, said your 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 brother's blood cried to me from the ground, because Abel was was uh, was in the spiritual world. You know, telling telling the Lord. Hey, he killed me. He did that to me. That's why that 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 mark was set upon Cain. So brothers who have been, who who have been, I don't want to say translated, <laughs> but are in the spiritual realm. I'm gonna I'm gonna say they are they are pleading our case as well. Okay. But everything has its time. It's all about timing. It's a time and season for it. The Lord is bound by the Lord is bound by the, His word, so everything has to happen in a, in a particular order. Because at the end of the day, it's His will. So that's pretty much it. 
Well, in this video is edifying. I'm going to close off. They give an our praise to you. How will I show me out shy? Bye, Shiro Kakadash. Shalom.